Hey you guys, a CK the Homesteader here with a video on how to spot copper fungus on your apple trees. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna call this my TCB, taking care of business, Queen Gigi. Cause you know, we gotta take care of our business on the homestead. We have to take care of our trees. We cannot just leave our trees, just to just look at them and watch them grow when things are going on with them. So I decided this would be a great TCB because my apple tree has a copper fungus. Now, all right, you guys, I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I'm a tree biologist or whatever they call those tree people. I forget the name of them, but I noticed these spots on my trees and I did some investigating they are on the leaves and it is some type of fung fungus that comes from leaves and also cedar trees. Okay, so I'm still learning about this fungus. I cannot pronounce the name. There are tons of funguses that your apple trees can get. And yes, the apple trees are definitely um, prone to this copper fungus. So let me show you what these leaves is looking like. And it kind of reminds me of, my son was laughing because I told him I think my tree has some type of form of wingworms. <laughs> and my son was like, I said, well, that's the only way I could describe it. So at first it started out <clears throat> with these, these dark spots. And then when you lift it up, you see those little circle kind of embossed things going on in there and I know that's the fungus but it was the strangest thing to me so when I looked at it I said well dang it looked like my tree has some type of wing worm going on in it <laughs> so this is a type of fungus and it is copper fungus um I forgot the name of it but if I uh probably uh, look it up again um, I'll find the name of it, but make sure you do your own research because I don't want to be accountable to your tree, just my tree. <laughs> so they said it's not a fungus that's detrimental to the trees, but you want to take care of it like when it's coming um, before it comes out of dormancy and you want to spray your tree with a fungicide. So this is the fungicide that I'm going to be using. Now, there are a lot of blogs about apple trees. So this is making me wonder, maybe I don't, as much as I would love to have apple trees growing and, and harvesting, I'm not sure I want to be dealing with this type of fungus. So what I'm going to start focusing on, and you guys could do the same thing, is try to find uh, fruit trees that are not pr prone to diseases. You know, kind of like disease-free fruit trees, something like that. So this is the tree that I was showing you guys that was full with the apples. And you can see all my apples got jacked up. And I left this one on here so you guys can see it. But apple trees also deal with powdery mildew. So make sure you take note of that. They deal with powdery mildew. So I'll just go around the tree so that you guys can get an idea of what to look for. And y'all know this is not normal, okay? So what they do suggest, I read several blogs, all blogs say different things. Uh, what you want to do is get rid of uh, your leaves. Like I'm going to have to remove um, this uh, mulch in this area because the copper, um, the copper fungus is a spore. Now spores travel in the air and they can move around and they find hosts so that's how it spreads so this could actually spread into my other apple tree which i think that one even has it already and and those are on the other end so they do recommend removing all the fruit toss it like i'm gonna have to um get rid of all of this that's here get rid of the apples toss it way way away from the tree and spray the tree with the fungicide and what I'm going to do come fall, when it goes into dormancy, I'm going to prune this tree all the way back. Now, they do say, oh, because your tree has a fungus, you don't have to chop your whole tree down and start and, you know, replant another tree. They say you can combat this. Okay. 
So um, I thought this would be a wonderful TCB for you homesteaders out there so that you will recognize this when you see this on your tree. And um, not just apple trees, all trees could get funguses and different diseases. So we have to really um, in inspect our trees. We need to give them baths. We need to spray them to protect them from all these different diseases that they can get. Um, we need to prune properly. You don't want to just be out here just chopping your tree like you crazy. You know, you want to treat your uh, tree with care. So, um, let's go around here. So you guys can see. And this was um, very disappointing because I sent y'all such a beautiful picture when it started birthing out the um, apples. And what I've noticed is that and I could step back because you might notice it too, that it's more on my left side, which probably would be you guys' right side, than it is on my right side. So I'm going to go around so you guys can see what I'm saying because I don't see it as much on this end. It's there, but not as much. So what I'm going to be doing is spraying my, my tree periodically um to slow this down because they say you can slow this down you still can get um good harvests off your trees um so i'm not sure if the fungicide will cure i'm thinking it's just going to slow it down so in the near future i will definitely be um looking for more trees that are disease resistant y'all y'all taking that note Make sure you look for disease-resistant trees, okay? Fruit trees. Um, but like I said, most fruit trees are prone to diseases. And they also definitely get the powdery mildew, okay? So this is one of the fungicides that they recommend. There are several fungicides out there that you can use. I chose to get this one. You may choose to get another one. But... Like I said, make sure you do your research. Make sure you read your directions. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go online because my directions on the back got sealed from being in the rain. So the paper is stuck together. Y'all know how you have those manuals back here. So it's all jacked up back there. But um, again, you know, you could put this in one of those um, other spray bottles that I use out in the yard, the big ones. Especially if you have a lot of fruit trees, you could use the um, the backpack sprayer, which is great for fruit trees so that you don't have to um, carry around so many different bottles. That's a great one as well. So I definitely want to share this with you guys. Make sure you pay attention to your trees and make sure you take care of them. All right, Queen Gigi, this is my TCB. Taking care of business. Got to take care of the orchard. All right, family, this is S.E.K., the homesteader. I hope everyone is doing well. Today is a beautiful day. Um, we have been hecka hot for about four weeks. Today is uh, probably mid 80, so it's very comfortable. Um, I did get a harvest in today, so I'll bring you guys some footage on that. But um, for the most part, I'm hoping that we will stay in the 80s and get to the low 80s so that I can start working on my fall crops. All right, family, so this is S.E.K. Thank you so much, you guys, for rocking with me, and I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure you guys continue to stay safe, and this is S.E.K. signing out. Peace.